everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I know, I've been gone. I've been gone, and I'm sorry. I mean, I've been here on shorts, I've been on TikTok, I've been on Instagram, I've been busy in a lot of other places except for my original channel, so I'm back. I'm excited to be putting out new content, and just thank you for being here. Thank you for a thousand subscribers, and yeah, just thank you so much. I appreciate all of you, all of your sweet comments. So today I just decided to do a nice, easy, natural look that is easily recreatable. Recreatable? Something that's easy for you all to recreate and is just kind of like my everyday look. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as well. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm like so rusty, so I'm sorry if this intro is just like painfully awkward and you're like, Brooklyn, come on, but you know. Carry on. Okay, so first thing I like to do, I keep watching back all my videos like on TikTok and shorts and my lips are so chapped in all of them. Like I would just like start the video out with like bleeding chapped lips and I'm like, girl, what in the world? So this is just like, Bath and Body Works lip gloss that I'm starting it off with. It moisturizes pretty well though, I feel like. Half hour, hour ago, I cut myself these curtain bangs. They might be uneven, I don't know. Um, the reason I did it myself and I didn't have my lovely hairstylist do it is because I moved. Yeah, I moved. I've always wanted to leave Utah. Utah was where I grew up. It's where I was born. It's where, you know, everything happened. Uh, this is the Hollywood Flawless filter, by the way. I'm just gonna be like interrupting what I'm talking about to talk about some products and just techniques. But I moved to Washington, which has been one of my dream states to live since I was a little girl. So the reason I always wanted to live there was because my one of my aunts lived there in Washington. She know she moved, so she doesn't live in Washington anymore, unfortunately. I remember her talking to me about it and she was like, it's like rainy, but there's so much like green around. Like it looks like you're on another planet and it totally does. Like I think that's such a good description. I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. I have two colors, Duville and Syracuse. So light four and medium, medium dark one. I like to have two because I can mix it to whatever shade I am right now um, because I self tan so sometimes that um, affects what it looks like. Also the brush I'm using, I got these sent to me in PR, you now have to say that on um, like if you're a makeup influencer of some sort or like any influencer you have to say when something is sent to you in PR which I think is a really good thing. Um, if I ever don't and forget, like I'm sincerely sorry, but these I did receive in PR, so I do have to say that, but I'm obsessed with them. They're the Trigwell Cosmetics brushes. This is the T04 brush, and this gives you the most like airbrush, but still like full coverage look. It's like not as dense, so you get a lot of coverage from it because it's not like stealing all your product. And it's super soft and like that finish the coverage, the everything that's going on right now. Beautiful. Why don't you alert the media? So back to moving, we were just sitting on the couch and I mentioned it like half joking. I was like, we were just sitting there one night and I was like, why don't we move to Washington? And he was like, honestly, I've been thinking about it. And so here we are. Wow. I did like the whole apartment process online um, and the apartment turned out to be like incredible, exactly what we wanted, honestly, even better than we wanted. Like we walked in after like our drive, we drove with like all our stuff in our car. It was crazy. <laughs> I'd only seen like pictures online, but like it is just so beautiful. Like the kitchens are new, like it's such an upgrade from our last place because in our last place, I was literally I'm not even kidding. I think I have a picture because I didn't think people would believe me, but I was filming between basically where our closet was and our bed was, like where our nightstand was, like, and I would just film sitting on our nightstand, like in a little corner. So to film, basically put everything there, then take it, put it all back. And it was just such a hassle to film every time that it like made me not really want to film because it was just, because it just wasn't like, 
an ideal filming setup. It's just not. Also, this concealer, it is my favorite for contour. I just discovered it. Like, I mean, we I've, I discovered this concealer like years ago. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer with that little sponge tip. Like we all probably used it in like high school or junior high or something, you know? And this contour color is just perfect because I was using the Bobbi Brown sticks, which I still love, but they're expensive. And this one I think is like $7 and it is in the shade 145 Warm Olive. And it's this perfect like neutral so it like works almost as a bronzer and a contour because it's not like orangey warm like a bronzer is but it's not gray like a contour is gray contours just don't look good in real life but yeah so we're in washington i love it here so far it's beautiful it's green like being in a new place it's just so refreshing because for me i felt like it was so hard to grow like as an individual because it felt like I was just so tied to my past because it's like anywhere you look around you like there's something with your past attached to it so like any like failed business relationships or you know even like friendships I had it felt like everything was tied there and I couldn't just transform and like be a new person which maybe that's just my excuse like you know you can technically start new whenever you want to. But for me, I kind of just felt like I did, I needed a new state to do that. Just something totally different, totally new to just be and do exactly what I want to do. It's so crazy because once we moved up here, it was like emails and emails and emails of like brands wanting to work with me and like getting PR from like big brands like brands I never would have like dreamed of emailing me where it's like they're the ones reaching out and I'm like oh my gosh what like it just feels validating like it feels like this was the right choice that's not to say it hasn't been hard like I definitely sorry I had some soda and my voice just sounds like so weird right now so I'm gonna drink more of it because I'm sure that'll help right it's definitely been hard you know not to say that like moving away is like easy and for everyone like i definitely think it's a great thing to get out of your home state and move somewhere new but like that's not to say it hasn't been hard you know like you're away from family you're away from your friends like you can't just drive 20 or 15 minutes and be at your friend's house you know there have been hardships with it but i would say overall it's been so worth it and i would definitely do it again. So I did one eye so you can just kind of see like what we're working with, what we're going to be doing. She's real simple but just like classic and pretty. First thing we're gonna do is I just set my concealer with some powder. Um, normally I'd prime my eyes but like with an eyeshadow primer because it makes your eyeshadow last a lot longer. It's kind of funny because like, I feel like makeup was so huge for a minute, but like for the people that like weren't watching YouTube at that time, or for the people that weren't that into makeup, there are some basics that a lot of people miss. So I usually use an eyeshadow primer, but today I just did some concealer with some powder, which if you are not in the market for an eyeshadow primer or can't afford it, this is like an easy way to do it. But if you have a big event or like a wedding, I highly recommend using an eyeshadow primer. So just wanted to put that in there. So I am taking, I've been using some MAC shadows, just like some simple little MAC, MAC shadows. So this is the color soft brown, which you can use your bronzer for this. But I take it on just like a fluffy brush and just pop it in the crease. And if you notice, I'm going kind of like making a straight line across my eyes. So rather than following the eye shape, what I'm doing is going just in a straight line, making sure not to go down because I like to have this be nice and bright. I just love how it looks. And you want to keep this high. The reason we're going straight across is because sometimes if you go like this, you're dragging the eyeshadow down and then that's actually going to make your eyes kind of droop. This lifts them and extends them outwards. The next part, you wanna make sure you have a 
brush that's like a little smaller than the one you were using before. Um, and then I'm taking a MAC shadow called Saddle. This is just like a medium brown. You don't want it to be too dark, but you don't want it as light as the other shade either. And just gonna swirl my brush in that. Then I'm going to put that on the outer corner and into the crease to kind of deepen it. And this one, you don't really have to focus on doing as much of the same direction because I'm not bringing it in here since we already have that transition shade in there. We're going to focus it on basically the outer half of the crease and then outwards as well. You can even kind of touch the temple and pull it a little bit to make sure you're going in the right direction. And if you ever feel like you go too low or the eyeshadow gets dragged down, just take your concealer brush or foundation brush, tap that away. Nice. I'm like complimenting myself. Nice, Brooklyn. You're like, yeah, you're doing the tutorial. You should think it's nice, right? What I'm doing right now is taking a, this is like a sample of a liner, but basically just a black liner. You don't want it to be liquid because it just doesn't work in the waterline and I'm putting it underneath the lashes. I love how it looks. It's almost like an invisible liner look. And then I am taking some liquid liner. This is from Makeup Revolution and it was in their Batman collection, which I got in PR as well, but this liner is really good. Another one um, that I like as well is the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eye um, and it's a brush tip. And the Makeup Revolution one is a felt tip. So depending on your preference, those are the two I really like. And so I'm starting on the outer corner and making a wedge. And as you can see, I'm stopping basically before I get to the iris and I'll just make sure it's really thin. So the way I make sure it's really thin, cause if you're drawing it on like this, that's like terrifying, you feel like it, it's gonna go everywhere that it's super wiggly. Keep it flat against your eye and just press. If you're new to liquid liner, just press it on. Works like a charm. So basically I am going out from here in the rim and just taking it out. And I have like a million tutorials where I just do a wing with powder, which is way easier for beginners. But I know I have a lot of people that message me and are like, I want to learn how to do liquid liner, so. Another thing is it always looks weird before you apply eyeliner. Just like don't overthink it, or I mean before you apply mascara, so just don't overthink it. Next step is to apply a little bit of like light pink eyeshadow. You're technically supposed to do this before eyeliner, but I break a lot of my own rules, so. And I just put this on the lid here. And I just think a matte eye look like this looks so good for everyday kind of wear. Sure. I've been obsessed with this mascara, it's so good. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Fan Effect Mascara. I, I don't even need to curl my lashes with this because it lengthens, separates, and curls your lashes all at the same time. Okay. And then for that little inner corner flick I do, totally optional, you can just leave it like this where it's just kind of like a classic eye look. But I like how this looks. So I'm just taking like a little bit of like a dark shadow. I just have another palette here. I'm just gonna take this, any shade you want. I just don't like using black. I look towards my mirror and I use just an angled brush and I start by flicking it outwards and then just to make sure the point is nice, I flick it inwards with my brush. I'm taking the NARS Liquid Blush in Orgasm. I'm just gonna take that on the back of my hand, kind of work it into the brush. And I like to apply it on top of the cheekbone, higher than we put the bronzer or like the bronzer slash contour, whatever you wanna call it. And then I kind of go onto the cheekbone, but I want the majority of the color to be right here to really lift my face. Let's see, I've been active pretty much everywhere, but like normal YouTube videos. So I've been posting YouTube shorts as I'm sure you've seen, by the way, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. So I've been active on TikTok. I went viral twice. 
I would love to do some videos talking on that and like kind of how I went viral, what the strategy is going forward, how I feel about TikTok. I'm just setting down my under eye and cheek area. Like I like this space right here to be matte and just like a little bit lighter than the rest of my face. I'm taking a Charlotte Tilbury blush. I'm gonna figure out the name, but it's this one right here. It's like this nice peachy one. And putting that on top of my liquid blush. You don't have to do that, but I like to just have a lot of blush. I think it looks really nice. And if the blush is too bright, just go over with your foundation brush. Another thing I've been doing that I've learned from TikTok is taking a milk, a NYX milk pencil. It's like this white jumbo pencil for my nose highlight. Totally optional, but I think it's cute. And I think it makes my nose look smaller. Like, see what just that? It makes the appearance that like that is the tip of my nose and that is how thin my bridge is. So it's really nice. I also love it in the inner corners of the eye. It's just nice and brightening, but it's not shimmery. So if you like a nice matte highlight, that's a great way to do it. For lips, I'm taking this pencil by Youngblood called Ah Natural. It's like a nice brownie color. As for the lipstick, I have been loving this and it's so cheap. It's the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Talk the Talk 95. And it's in like one of these crayons, which is just so easy to apply. So pretty, such a good nude. Like I feel like these brownie nudes are just so beautiful and timeless. The other thing I love, other lipstick, it actually might be on sale. I did get this one in PR. It is from Makeup Revolution and it is the Corpse Bride lipstick in Victor. Like I'll put it kind of on top on this side. Kind of has like a little more color. It's more of like a spicy nude, but like almost exactly the same. You're not even gonna be able to see it. I don't know why I did that, but beautiful. I love that one. Overflowing with how many I have. I need to do like a giveaway of some sort in the future because I just have so many. So I'm gonna use the Velour Lashes in the style secret weapon they're the effortless lashes so you don't have to cut them i do because i have really small eyes like i think i cut these or maybe i didn't also so i'm thinking of starting a new series on here something a little different just because i feel like for example bailey sarian is probably the biggest makeup influencer on youtube at least and she does, you know, makeup and murder mystery, and she also has like a history one that she's doing now, and she's doing a podcast with it. So I have an idea. Tell me if you hate it. I might even just make a video and just see how it goes, see if I even like making them. But I was thinking of reviewing TV shows. Um, my favorite one right now that is currently on TV is Dexter Newblood, which is like basically a continuation of the classic Dexter series. I'm obsessed, it's amazing. The way they've done it is just great. And so I was thinking of doing an episode on the whole season rather than like episode to episode and just like review it and talk about it and my thoughts. Um, the inspiration I got for that was Jamie French cause she always does the movie reviews which i love like i just think they're so entertaining like could i watch the movie sure like could i just watch it myself instead of her telling me about it yeah but she's so entertaining i just love her videos and she's so funny so i think it would be fun to experiment and try something like that so let me know what you think if you hate the idea tell me if you're just like no we just want makeup content which i was thinking of doing my makeup at the same time as reviewing it so you still get like that side but it's something i'm interested in experimenting with Alrighty, so this is the final look of my new and improved everyday makeup routine i hope you guys enjoyed it if you try it out let me know and let me know how you like it if there were any tips in this video that you liked also let me know 
Um, but I'm so happy to be back. Thank you again for a thousand subscribers and I will see you in my next video. Bye.